Brent's Burgers. Okay, we have uh, a burger review coming at you here. I am in the small town of Durham, Ontario. So uh, this morning I was in Penetanguishene, and then uh, Mark Dell this afternoon in Durham, sort of on the way home. If you're ever going to Owen Sound, it's like, I don't know, 35-40k from there. And then, uh, yeah, it's on that road. I think it's Highway 6 or something like that. So the place I've gone today, I've actually been in the past, probably, I don't know, four months ago or something. At the time it was called the Durham Diner. I think they've since rebranded to Riverside something, which is because probably it's by actually quite a lovely river. Uh, I decided to not go on the bridge and do it down here instead. Uh, but yeah, so they've changed their name, which I was sort of disappointed by because I like the ring of the Durham Diner. I'm really into alliteration. Okay, this is actually maybe going to be a little loud for the, uh, there's like a dam of some sort. So let's move back a bit. We'll do it over here by the bridge. So friendly service. It's a little trailer. It doesn't look like anything spectacular, but I can tell you last time I was here, I was super pleased with their burger. I'm very, very hungry today. I was up at 5.30, went for another little yog uh, to have time to get to Penetanguishene. And then um, I've been basically just knocking back orange pico tea and fruit explosion muffins all day. So here is my order. I like it. It's almost in like a cake box, uh, which makes sense because I have two of them. And I also appreciated that she informed me which one has the bacon. Uh, she said the one on the right. So although they have moved since I began, this is, you can see here, they've got the old school checkered, uh, I guess, wrapping. So let's get the one with the bacon out here. Let's see here. Okay, this is the one with the bacon. Now, it's a nice looking burger. I'm gonna take off the bun so you can see it here. This is sort of what it looks like, okay? Lettuce is on top. I'm very happy about that. Condiments are on top. Very happy about that. Sort of weird. The bacon's on the bottom. So I'm gonna adjust that right now, actually. That's an easy fix, not a big deal at all. Okay, and we'll give this a go. Uh, pricing, not heinous. So with the bacon, I have one that has bacon and then one without. All together, it came to like 15 something, just the burger. So basically you're looking at like seven, maybe 750 a burger, something like that. I think it's actually cheaper because again, I had bacon. So it's probably more like six something a burger. So actually pretty good value. Let's give this a go. I'm gonna maybe set down the box and uh, so that I have freer reign of the burger and we'll give it a go here. Maybe I'll give you a nice little backdrop of the, uh, of the river. We'll try that. Okay, here we go. This is more cinematog cinematic than uh, any of the other ones I've done. Uh, Riverside Diner, formerly Durham Diner, will always be Durham Diner in my heart. Bacon burger. Mmm. It's nice and warm on the inside. Okay. Very, very thoroughly cooked without being charred. Um, nice heat. I like that the bun does not have sesame seeds. This is the type of bun if you ever go to like a festival, my dad's from Zurich and I used to teach there and they have a festival every, Octo every August, the fourth Saturday of August called the Zurich Bean Festival where they celebrate the virtue of beans. So it's almost the type of bun you would get if you were going to a vendor there. It's very, very good. Uh, no sesame seeds. The patty is a homemade patty, or at least it certainly has that uh, appearance and taste and texture. Hmm. One more bite. Oh, 
Okay, so I think taste-wise, it's a good burger. I have this hanging out around a 7-8. Last time I was here, actually, I think I probably would have scored it a bit higher taste-wise, but it's very good. I might have just been a little bit more hungry last time. But what I really appreciate about it is the value, for one. Again, we've discussed that. It's rare that you'll get good value for a burger. Here, it's actually pretty solid. Uh, very good burgers, nice service, and uh, I like that they place everything where they belong, with the exception of the bacon, but it's fine. Everything's on top of the patty. They know what they're doing here. So, if you're ever driving through Durham, you want to get a meal for a reasonable price, I highly recommend the Durham Diner. I, will con I play an Owen sound all the time. I'm going to continue to stop there and get two burgers every time I'm there. Well worth it. Durham Diner, you got some lovely scenic views, and uh, yeah, there's a review.